Welcome to the party, pal. Your friend neighborhood, Master Chaos and Brother Chaos. Hello. Uh, with his uh, signature Arby's cup. Yeah. Uh, we're here for a, uh, a, a, it's a rare treat. I haven't done these in a while. A box set review Sunday. Uh, and we've got, we've got a doozy of a dilly of a box set to discuss. One that, frankly, took a lot out of us. Yes, it did. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. <laughs> to say the least. Back, back, back from the dead. <laughs> Of course, we're talking about the Camille Keaton in Italy box set. And, uh, oh boy. Oh, God dang it. Um, I don't know how you feel about this box set or if you're just waiting to hear our thoughts on it. Um, but uh, this felt like a punch to the nuts. But in a way, it's, it's sort of in keeping with what Vinegar Center delivers box yeah. set wise. I really didn't like their televised uh terrors box set i okay. thought all the movies were poor i didn't derive any sort of entertainment or fun from any, from any of the movies um so that was a dud i'm not a fan of the giallo box set the first mm -hmm. one i thought it was really bad i i gave it to master chaos mm -hmm. uh so this one I like Camille Keaton. But you did like the Cardona box set. I did like the Cardona box set. I kind of, yeah. I'm kind of wishing the Cardona box set was in a sturdy box like this. Yeah. Instead of that uh, slipcase thing. Slipcase thing. Yeah. With the magnets. Did you put yours on your fridge? I did, but I took it off and I put it back on the <laughs> shelf. But I, I just tried it. You have to try it when if you own it. You gotta, you just gotta, you know, see if it, and it, and it does stick to the fridge. Yes. Yeah. Well, duh. This is a box of diarrhea. Honestly, this is just a big bunch of shit. Um, we're going to break down the movies uh, in depth, well, as much as in depth as we can, because not much actually happens in these goddamn movies. That's true. Uh, before we get into the movies, though, do you know why, or not why, but do you know the story behind her name, Camille Keaton? I do not, no. She's, uh, I believe, the granddaughter, the great granddaughter of Buster, Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton, oh. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Yeah, she's related, she's related to Buster, not Buster Rhymes, but... Yeah, Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton. That's yeah. kind of amazing. And you're you're a fan of Buster Keaton movies, right? Oh yeah, I love. It's I right love... up there with with, with Ch Charlie Chaplin and stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Buster's amazing. Um, big fan. You get three movies in the box set. Um, I'm not gonna break down the sides and the thing. Anyway, most there's tons of videos on YouTube of people going in depth on the on the box. The box is nice. Okay, let's go in order of what we watched, which I believe is this way. Okay, so first up. Well, I don't even know what the year is. From 1972, 87 minutes, tragic ceremony. You start off with a brief synopsis, and I'll jump in with what I remember. Okay. Because I have a little bit of jet lag from my traveling here, too. Gotcha. No worries. Uh, and, and also, you know, you and can also not be much, forgiven. And also, not much happens. Exactly. And, and most of these movies are almost exactly the same fucking thing. So they blend together, you know, like peanut butter and jelly on, on an old man's ass. Like, like, <laughs> like my grandma used to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Tragic ceremony uh, is, is just a tragic experience. Not because of the events of the film, but because of the film itself. Uh, we meet um, four youths, and they're just kind of hanging out at the beach. Um, Camille Keaton is part of the team. You know, she's the only female there. And all these guys, I guess... They're big fans of I Spit on Your Grave, and so they, yeah. they, 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 they toss her around like a, yeah, like, like, like a, a two dollar penny. One of them is her boyfriend, I think, right? What well, I don't know, cause there was a one guy who like, there was one guy who liked her, who was acting like you know that guy with like the, like your your your, act, your favorite actor. He had, like he had that face that you oh, were just in love with. The blonde blonde. The hair. blonde guy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Get good-looking people to be in your movies, you know? Don't get <laughs> odd-looking creature. Yeah. <laughs> odd-looking Italian men. Yeah. Like, ultra-skinny, like, Somalian body types. Yeah. Really strange. Anyway, four young people hanging out. 
that's what the first 45 minutes of the movie is. Yeah. They're driving around. They run out of gas. Oh, bro. They go to a gas station. They get a little bit of gas. They drive around. They run out of gas again. Okay? Uh, they find an abandoned house. It's one of those abandoned house in the woods type of movie or, you know, like, we run out of gas. We need help from some you know, castle or whatever. At one point, don't they go to one of their parents' house? Oh, yeah. That's afterwards, though. Okay. So they end up at this mysterious castle, and um, um, and this is about 45 minutes into the damn movie. Um, at the castle, they're having a tragic ceremony, I guess that's where the name comes I think from. The police said it was, they were having a black mass, but yes, that's the tragic ceremony that's being referred to yeah. in the title of the film. Um, so, what anyway, a weird black mass. A stupid as hell. It's a whole bunch of old people, and, and the weird thing is. They, they, okay, so they bring them in. They say, oh, yeah, come on in. Come on out of the rain. You can you can stay here. Well, uh, and then, oh, secretly we're having a, a, a Satan worshiping thing. Mm -hmm. But, how, what, what ceremony? They didn't know that those kids were going to stop by. They didn't have a sacrifice. What were they going to fucking do? Just stand around and chant the devil's name? I made a joke on when we were watching the movie. You know how the, the Christians and Catholics, I'm, I'm Catholic, they say, God will provide. In this case, I guess they're saying it, so they think Satan will provide. Let's just have faith in Satan. Let's do the black mass, and he will provide the sacrifice. I guess so. So anyway, they decide to, the, the black mass people decide to um, sacrifice Camille Keaton. Um, uh, her skinny friends come to the rescue. Yeah. Um, then for some reason, the Satanists kill each other. And now the movie actually gets amazing for about yeah. a minute. Yeah. 45 minutes in, this movie is fucking amazing. There's a big slaughter where the Satanists kill each other. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. There's like like beheadings. There's like... A guy chopped in half. Chopped, the head chopped in half. Yeah. And then the the, the youths... I'm going to call them the youths because yeah. that's what they are. They leave. And I think they run out of gas again. Yeah, and they run out of fucking gas again. Now, let, something I left out. When they get to the castle, they say, come on, you know, come to the garage. They gas up their car. We see them gassing up their car. Yeah. They pour gas into the car. They leave the castle like, oh, we need to get gas. Fuck you. How much gas do your fucking car need? <laughs> Stop. The movie has no plot. No plot. Then the rest of the movie is them driving around trying to get gas. They go to one kid's house. And they say, oh, hey, mom, can we stay here? And the mom goes, no, go to a hotel. What the yeah, fuck? I know. What is this movie? Yeah, you know, mom, we need money for gas. Go, well, here's money. Go away. And then they go to another house. So, just to keep count, there's three different houses that they stop at. And then, oh, I'm not going to ruin the ending because it's stupid. But then, sort of, the demonic stuff sort of pays off, but it makes absolutely no sense. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Right. I, it, 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 it's a complete waste of time movie. Yeah. And it only has one good scene, and that's that slaughter scene. Although, there is one other good scene. Do we, do we want to talk about the bubble bath? Oh, that that was a good scene. Yeah, definitely. With Camille Keaton in it. She takes a bubble bath. Uh, and it's pretty lengthy. So, yes, the box set is Camille Keaton in Italy. She is in Italy. She is in these in, in these movies. But it's closer to the, the Christopher Lee box set. If you're familiar with my reviews for that, this is like Camille Keaton's Christopher Lee box set. Uh, but she is naked in all the movies. So yeah. I guess there's that. Uh, she, she's in all the movies. The movies are lackluster, uninspired, uh, boring, re repetitive, um, tedious. Yeah, tedious is a good one. Yeah, they, 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 it's just not fresh. It's not something that pops off the screen and mm -hmm. you watch and you say, "Oh, no story." I, I, I constantly was thinking. My mind kept wandered, wandered exactly into into what I'm gonna do afterwards. Oh, are we gonna have Indian food or Thai food next? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? a com com complete void of story. They all yeah. have just nothing going on. It's really disappointing because if it would be one movie that that sucked, that right. would be kind of okay, and a lot of two were fun. That would be cool, but all of them were bad. Shitball movies. Yeah. Um, in case you're curious, you get a commentary track with Sam Deegan. Uh, which I'm sure she tries to sell hard that this is a good movie. Mm -hmm. Then you get an archival interview uh, with Camille Keaton as well as a still in gallery. Tragic Ceremony, what is your? what would be your review, uh, your rating, I should say, out of five stars for Tragic Ceremony? Uh, one star. One star. Yes. Zero! Wow. 
Wow. Zero for me. What a shit ass shit. It's not gonna get any higher than that, folks. To be honest. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm very disappointed with this box set. Uh, Sex of the Witch is up next. This is from the year 1973. 95 minutes. Um, yeah. Do you remember this one at all? <laughs> um, not so much. This is the one. Uh, again, we've seen this fucking story a thousand goddamn times, and a thousand goddamn times from Italy. Heirs meet up at a house. An old man dies. He has a will, and oh. and, and somebody's killing off the 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 you know the inheritors for yeah. for the ultimate prize or whatever. Problem is, it's more of a sex movie than anything else. And, and do you want to talk about your favorite actor in this? Oh yeah, there's this <laughs> repulsive looking guy that looks like his face might have been like in some sort of an accident and and he has sex with with good looking girls and one And of you see his balls. Yeah, you see his balls. And, and his dick. You see his one, dick. One of the scenes. Yeah, that's And you see his ass a lot. Yeah. Um, this is definitely more of a sex movie than, than a horror movie, than a slasher movie, than, than even an Inheritors in a Castle type movie. As a matter of fact, there is a 10 minute um, threesome in this that is the dullest. It is dull. Uh, most awful thing you, you'll ever see. Now, let me talk, ask you a question. Would you prefer a 10 minute. Okay, would you prefer this? 10 minute dull sex scene or a Jess Franco 10 minute dull sex scene? I would say Jess Franco. Because he, he has more experience doing these types of sex scenes and they're a little bit more interesting. Just Franco does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he, he, he sucks still. Uh, most of his movies suck. Yeah, no. Um, I would say, uh, yeah, just Franco over this. Over I this, mean, this yeah. is literally just three, like a man and two women rolling around in a bed. Li yeah, not even yeah, kidding. Yes. Literally for 10 minutes. There's one shot that's like four minutes long and just over the head of them rolling around. It is... If you've seen the movie Bat Pussy, it, it's it's uh, it's it's on that level of awfulness. Oh, what a waste! This is a movie that had an idea, had a plot, and decides to squander it for nothing, nothing, just waste, complete waste, tedium, full of fucking fluff. You can tell I'm not a fan of this box set. You can tell I'm not a fan of these movies. And I was rooting for it. I, I, I like Camille Keaton as an actress. I've met her. Uh, she's a very sweet lady. I love I Spit on Your Grave. But I think this box set has fucking cured me when it comes to Italian exploitation movies. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Don't blind buy. Don't blind buy. I'm not even gonna buy anymore. I'm, not, I'm no longer looking for Italian movies. I mean, I probably would not have picked this up if I didn't have the subscription. Uh, and um, I'm gonna find another home for it very soon. Uh, Sex of the Witch special features include a commentary track with Kat Ellinger and uh, and then a, another still gallery with Camille. I'm not sure if it's the same one. It would be stupid if it was the same one, but uh, potentially it uh, could be. There's not much to say about this movie. Oh, except the fact that Camille's barely in this. Yeah, exactly. She's barely in it, yeah. Maybe five minutes, would you say? Yeah, that's what that's I'm talking about, right? When she does, we do we do sort of get to see her naked, and then that's it. And then she becomes a mute or and, something. And there's no witch in this movie. So there's sex, no witch. Sex of the witch. No, no witch. No. Sex of the witch makes no sense. No witch. No, no, but there is a really, there, there is a twist that you loved, actually. We, we don't want to give it away. Oh, yes. But that happened in the very, very, very end. Very end. Yeah. It is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it, it is ridiculous, but... It, Kind of made me chuckle a little bit. So, so yeah. you liked it enough. I like that. I like that. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. redeem the movie in my eyes. Would it? Does it redeem it in your eyes? It does not. It does not. No. no. Um, rating. What? What would you give this out of five stars? One star. One star. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna say? Zero. Zero. Man. Shit. Okay. Last. Uh, last but not least. Um. Well, I guess not least. For me, not least. Not least. Why don't you tell us about Madeline, your favorite one? Yeah, I, I disliked the whole box set, but out of the three films, this one was more palatable. For me, it was easier to watch. I didn't have to try to figure out uh, what was happening. It's pretty much uh, Camille Keenan, and she's married to an older guy, mm -hmm. but she's very like female liber liberation kind of thing because it's in the 70s, 
and uh, she, her husband lets her have relations with other men and she wants to explore and she, it's very, it's a little bit, I wouldn't say psychedelic, but it's, uh, she has this ongoing nightmare mm -hmm. where like five yeah. or six women with different color wigs, <laughs> like clown wigs, are after her. And then she also has this other nightmare or vision of a, a racing car accident mm -hmm. and a car burns up, you know, kind of like the Daytona 500, something like that. And the car has a crash and burns up. So we don't know what's going on. And so anyway, she hooks up with this guy. And this is the movie where Camille Keaton is uh, seen the most. Yes, she's definitely the star of this one. And for me, my favorite scene was you get to see Camille Keaton riding a horse topless and in slow motion and you see it, her boobs shake. I thought that was, that made, that made me feel good. I had a, I like just, that's, that's I'm, I'm a, a simple guy to please. I, I saw Camille Keaton, you know, riding the horse yeah. topless and in slow motion. I'm like... You got you got something cool and good there, movie. Except terrain on your braid. It's right. out of fucking focus. That's true. It's you not... can't see anything. So it, it's like you don't see you can't see anything. It's all blurry, dude. It's not completely blurry, but it's no. Not you in can't good you focus. can't see anything. You, I mean, it's out of focus. You can't see. You can't really see definition. So yeah, she's on the horse, but can't really see nips or anything. It's just I saw nips. My it, it's it if if that, if that does. If that does you in, then good. I'm glad. I'm glad you get some enjoyment out of this. I did. I did. I, I want to be honest. I did get enjoyment out of that. I got enjoyment out of the story because it's like, it's like her and she's vacationing with her husband on 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 kind of this like mansion where she mm -hmm. has a pool and she has this lover and then her husband is jealous and looking through a peephole and having se her sex. Then she has a party. <laughs> where her lover says oh you'll find someone to love eventually but she's married so that doesn't make sense you know and her lover is with another girl and then it's like a got mixed up but uh the, it has an interesting ending if bc's breakdown of the plot uh, has left you confused don't worry because there's not much happening in this movie uh there's a, i think even less happens in this movie it's not a horror movie it's not it's it's not a thriller at all it's it's very much just a sex drama um with a another fucking ridiculous twist yeah. like like almost like an m like you i think you called it an m night Shyamalan an twist. m night Shyamalan twist yeah which we're not gonna we're not gonna spoil here but it's one of those like are you fucking kidding me movie and that doesn't redeem anything of what we've seen it just it, it just i i think it makes it dumber but you think it makes it better I, I think it makes it better, and I enjoyed Camille Keaton when she invites her boyfriend, pretty much a stranger that she just met, mm -hmm. to go to the swimming pool. And <laughs> how, tell tell me about her 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 bathing costume, her her swimsuit. Oh, well, she wears the you know the traditional birthday suit. Um, um, and yeah, you do That's, get that. All women should wear their birthday suits uh, <laughs> for to go swimming in the in the pool when. Yeah. Well, when it gets hot, <laughs> I'm gonna stop there before I, I get silly and yeah, make um, an ass of myself. Uh, yeah, she's naked a lot. Yeah, um, but that's really all, there's nothing to this movie. And then when you get to the ending, it's almost a slap in the face to everything we've just watched. To add insult to injury, it's the longest movie. This is a, a, an hour and forty minutes, and it is painfully slow and dull. And, and I, I don't know. I think I was just I was expecting. A supernatural thriller, some kind of horror thriller. That's okay, you were suffering. I was watching it. I was just enjoying the visuals, just watching Camille Keaton, like you know, relax in in her swim, in her nakedness. Yeah. And I see you there, like. <sighs> and this is after this is the third movie in the box. I was I was yeah. already burnt out from the last fucking two, man. I'm sorry, that this movie really broke you. Garbage, man. I'm done with Italian movies. Okay, you get a commentary track with Camille Keaton on this. Oh. I won't listen to that. A brand new interview with Camille. Uh, an audio essay by Rachel Nesbitt. And an alternate Italian burning baby sequence. I'm not going to watch that. 
Uh, and that that's it, uh, special features wise. That's a lot of special features for a movie that not much happens. <sighs> Hey. If you gave the other movies zero stars, we, oh yeah, we haven't, we, we haven't given ratings of that one. We know how how many how many you're gonna give to this one. Uh, so I'll go first. Five stars. Madeline gets no zero zero zero. I give it two stars. Two? Wow, the highest. The highest, yeah, out of the three, yeah. Two. Wow, two stars. Okay, yeah. I think at one point you said it was like an Ingmar Bergman movie. It deals with some of the same uh, themes that Bergman uses, like infidelity and uh, psychoanalysis and dramatic stuff like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, if you like it, it's it's no, you know what? It's available. I'm gonna tell you something. The truth. If that movie, Madeline, was a standalone Vinegar Syndrome movie, I'd buy it from you. Gotcha. Okay, but the other ones are too painful. Yeah, no, no, the other ones are really bad. <laughs> so, so, so bad. So, uh, so, so bad. So, so, so bad. Yeah. Um. Overall, this box set is a fucking dud, in my opinion. Uh, uh, obviously... Two uh, people are telling you that it's a dud. Yeah. So. A, a dud from me and a dud from BC. Yeah. It is... Um, Unfortunate. If you're one, if you're looking for our opinion, I would say stay away. It's not worth buying at all. Mm -hmm. But everybody's taste is different. Obviously, that's you know, cinema is art. So if you're really, 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 really into Italian films and and you you don't care about plots or narrative drive or or story development or character development or any of those things that make a movie, you're gonna like Camille Keaton in Italy <laughs> because that's. <laughs> That's uh, exactly what you have here. And I think, honestly, I think she's naked more often and, and I spit on your grave. So if you're getting it for nudity, it's not worth it. Although you do see that weird dude's balls <laughs> in Sex of the Witch. In Sex of the Witch, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, it is a dud. That, that's my feeling on that one. Uh, and I'm concurred here by... Yeah, it is a dud. It is a dud. It, would, you, would you say that... You think anybody would like this, or um, or is it just across the I, board? I think people it? will be disappointed with it. I think people will be disappointed with it. I think maybe, since we're all different, I think someone might like one movie, but I think it's I'll be think it's very rare that someone would like all three movies. I'm yeah. saying it straight out. I think it's I don't I don't think anybody's gonna like all three movies. I, I'd be shocked, I but so. if I'd you, be shocked too. But it, but if if you you own this set and you like all three movies, comment. Yeah, and that was fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you Medical Syndrome gave you something you liked. Absolutely, uh, yeah. you know. Again, it's subjective. So if you mm -hmm. if if you like it, you like it. So that's great. Let us know. Um, and if I've warned you away from it, let me know as well because uh, I'm always curious about that. Um, all right, let's call it a day. Thank you for yeah. joining me, sir. No problem. Thank you for having me again on here. And uh, thank you for watching uh, at home. And um, until we meet again, this is your Philly Neighborhood Master Chaos, BC in the house. And uh, we will see you next time. Uh, but for now, wishing you the best and signing off. Take care of yourselves.